Welcome back, Infinite Years. This is Infinite Throwbacks, episode 13, and this is Darth Maul. Yep, they made him, and he's awesome, as you would expect. And here he is. I'll give him a 360. My apologies, he is a little bit warped. Um, that means when a figure is slightly bent out of shape. So he is a little bit leaning towards, uh, I guess, the right here, but... Yeah, we'll just ignore that. Who, cause who really cares? Yeah, who really cares? Um. Anyway, here he is. He's got his trademark double-bladed saber there. Which, fun fact, I actually prefer the double-bladed lightsaber. Like I just prefer it. Although it has weaknesses, I definitely prefer it to the single blade. Um. But here he is. He is very great. I wanted to talk about his his base, of course. Um, for a minute. Here is the base. Um, you can tell that this is a Clone Wars era character. This is, I guess, or a prequel trilogy character. Because Darth Maul was in Episode 1, The Phantom Menace, and then he got killed. Or did he? And then he got put into the Clone Wars TV show, which was awesome. And he showed up in Solo, A Star Wars Story, which was great. And, um, yeah. He's also in The Clone Wars Season 7, which is, um awesome so yeah here he is this is tatooine so this is pretty much all the clone wars characters have this like obi-wan yoda anakin and ahsoka they all have this tatooine sand base because tatooine is a big part of the prequels and of course of the clone wars as well but here he is um i did do some research here beforehand um darth maul is a figure actually was one of the most challenging Infinity figures because he has so much, like, layering to his clothes. Like, he's pretty much just wearing, like, karate gear, but it's black. Um, and he's got all of these horns on his head. Those are all individual. Like, that's all pieces. Like, it's just really impressive the work that goes into this stuff. Um, especially Infinity figures. Like, you think they're so simple. But they're actually, um, under the surface, there's a lot more than you think that goes on. Um, this figure's incredible. The pose that he's in, the, his face, like, the tattoos, the horns, the, like, the way his robes are kind of flowing in the air, and the way he's holding his lightsaber, um, it just looks so great. Um, the lightsaber itself is really well done. Um... It looks exactly like it did in uh, The Phantom Menace and, you know, Clone Wars. And you can see here, right here, he's holding it there. Looks really, really good. And I may or may not have tried to snap this off, which is kind of stupid, but well, it's back in this place, so I'm not doing that again. But um, here are his robes. I think the best part of him is the way that his, his, his kind of skirt is kind of like flowing it's like moving in motion which is just really neat like they didn't have to do this like he could have just been standing there but no they they made him have some cool boot detailing like he's got the his cool hand gesture like he's gonna like force push someone and he's got his tunic and it goes up to his his head head which looks the best like he's just got his his Sith eyes. He's got his Zabrak tattoos. He's got his horns. Um, pretty much all the horns are there. I think they left two horns out because it was too much to do all of them. So they just left a couple out. But man, this figure is phenomenal. Definitely one of the best Infinity like translations of like the character to the game, like the style. So I'm really impressed with that. In terms of the game, Darth Maul is so powerful, like you would expect him to be. Um, he's incredibly fast, like he's really agile, because of course he's a younger man um, in the Phantom Menace and the Clone Wars days. Uh, I guess in the Clone Wars he's a little bit older, but in the Phantom Menace he was a pretty much a young man, like he was like in his 20s, so he could really fight like really well. And it showed at the end of the movie, of course, the Duel of the Fates. And because he has a double-ended saber, 
it's actually one of the more unique characters to play in Disney Infinity because he's he's very varied. Like his fighting style is very like it's very unique. Like he's got a lots of cool moves. Um it's just really well done. Um if you upgrade him like I have, he's got lots of great moves and just really killer motions and skills with the saber that no one else really can do because he's the only one that mastered the double blades so it's cool you never see a jedi or a sith with double bladed lightsabers it's very 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 rare um which is just really cool unfortunately the double bladed lightsaber has one big weakness and that it's 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 handle it's incredibly um vulnerable Especially when you're fighting, and if an opponent slices your handle, it's all done. You're done. It, it just, it won't work out for you. Um, as Darth Maul sadly knew, or as he found out at the end of The Phantom Menace. I won't spoil anything, but his lightsaber does kind of meet its end a little bit. But, and he's really great. His special move is incredibly powerful, especially when you upgrade it and, it, and you charge it up. He leaps into the air and slams on the ground with dark side energy and just kills everything. Just really impressive. Um, he can force push. He can leap super high in the air. He can dash. Um, he's just very well rounded as a character and as a figure. They did him justice. I'm, I'm a big Darth Maul fan and I think they did him extremely well. Um, I'm just really impressed with the design here. And the design work that went into this figure alone is worth it. Just having him, like, as a figure. Um, he goes really well with... Let me bring in a couple of the Star Wars villains that they've released here. Let me get Vader. Here's Vader. Uh, I gotta go over here. We got Kylo Ren on the, on the left and then Vader here on the right. So he's one of the three main Sith villains that you can be... Um, he is a Sith because his name is Darth Maul. Uh, Darth Vader is another icon. I'd recommend him as well. Uh, we'll talk about him later on in another episode. Same with Kylo Ren. We've already covered him. Um, Kylo Ren is very different as a, as a character and as a figure in Infinity. He's a lot more simple. I'd say Kylo Ren is probably the simplest Infinity villain. Um, he's just basic, but that's how he looked in the movie, so it's that's fair. Um, yeah, Darth Maul works really well standing next to these iconic Sith. Uh, well, I guess Kylo Ren's not really a Sith, but you get the you get the point. So yeah, actually, I wanted to bring in Ahsoka, so you can see the um, the um, what's the word? The the difference between the Jedi and the Sith. So Darth Maul stands out like a sore thumb. Because he's all black, um, with a bit of red. And then Ahsoka is just very, just, she's a very beautiful looking figure. And a really awesome fighter. We'll take a look at her again in their own episode. But, yeah, Darth Maul is incredibly worth it. I was actually kind of surprised that they made him. Because Darth Maul is, you, he's kind of like, you really love him or you really hate him. Like, there's not really a in-between <laughs> Because he was kind of treated as a joke in The Phantom Menace, kind of. Like, he didn't get a lot of screen time, but then they brought him back for Clone Wars, which is amazing. And then he got a lot of his fans from that. And um, and then by the time Solo came around, everyone was a fan of Darth Maul. So, I think he's a really wonderful figure. Really, really well done. Like, he's just really a fast fighter. Really aggressive. Really, like, fun and just a really really fantastic character in general um i actually just played with at the time of this recording i played darth maul a couple nights ago and he was really really well done i was still surprised how well he hold up or how well he holds up in in the game so really great he's voiced by I believe Sam Witwer, who does, like, some of the motion capture, and he mostly does the voice of Darth Maul. Ray Park voiced him, or no, Ray Park played him in The Phantom Menace. And then Sam Witwer did the voice for him pretty much for everything that Darth Maul's in. So, yeah. 
definitely a fan favorite for sure. I'm glad they put him in. Although I really, I really would have liked to see General Grievous in Disney Infinity because he was such a fun villain to fight. But unfortunately, he was he disappeared after you fought him, and then he didn't show up again. Um, but it was cool how in the story mode, Darth Maul, like Twilight of the Republic, uh, Maul was the main villain of the whole story. So you were basically fighting him, and you fought him at the end, um, which was just really cool. Um, but yeah, he's really surprisingly well done. I I have no complaints. I just really fantastic as a figure and in, in the game. So. Yeah, if you love Darth Maul, go ahead and get him. If you're a fan of Clone Wars, go ahead and get him. Um, if you just want a really cool villain and uh, you don't mind massacring everyone, then uh, Darth Maul is the way to go. Really well done. Um, that's pretty much it for Darth Maul. Um, I really like his figure, and um, we will cover Vader uh, later. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, I hope you like this one. I hope, this, I hope everyone likes this series. I'm really loving doing it. I do plan to do a gameplay of, of him soon so you can see him in the game. But thanks for watching. Take care. Don't let, you, don't let your dark side get out. You do not. That's a bad idea. Um, you end up like, like Maul here. But I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And I'll take care. And uh, I'll see you later.